Sumer and I, we belong to Punjab. We, I grew up from, I grew up there, and Sumer's parents are from Punjab. And we are like highly influenced from the Punjabi people, the how the people live, their dreams, their aspirations, their spirits, the energy of Punjab, we can say. So we are like very, very inspired by them. That's Sumer, and that's me. <laughs> It's a very telepathic relation. It's like with those saying we speak sometimes. So a lot of people got jealous on this, even especially our wives got jealous in this. Uh, I think initially there were two different styles. But then uh, soon we actually uh, got something which is like, if he likes it, I also likes it. So we start liking the same things. It's very semiotic. It is very sign. It is very oriented by we understand that if there is a comparison between our works and the sound it is we can 110 percent relate to anything we have been creating visuals out of getting inspired out of sound so there is always like a to and fro process and on the base we can put these then this can come there on the top of it no Something. The size will be like 8 feet. Make it more. Larger than like huh? yeah. So every material demands, every idea demands uh, materials. So it works according to that. So basically, it starts from a sketch, it goes through a digital uh, platform, and it comes back. Final uh, piece is also like, which is like a hand done, like a craft. So we do the background first, then we do these colors, then masking. So it is like a nice, uh, like a journey, which comes like a circle, comes back to the same thing. So we took main uh, main part of our work as a theme is as was the people who migrate to Canada and America yeah. or just they just want to fly, fly down abroad. What they bring us uh, back, what these uh, boys and the Punjabi youth bring back is the new aesthetics. Which is which you can actually find in food, fashion, spaces where they live. The how the architecture, architecture behavior changes in India, in yeah. the India scene. Like when we moved this, uh, moved the studio a few years back, then it completely changed when we start looking and start observing these people. There, there is a British roof. There is, there is, uh, yeah. There is a cross between Chateau, French Chateau, or uh, Mughal architecture. But they developed a new. New, new aesthetics all together in it. And so actually one of the, this is what the recent work also, the recent series of our works also actually talks about uh, this change which has been constant and uh, evolving. And, and we named it Dominus Aeris, uh, the flying houses. This is the one we actually chose for Pasun. You take this part, yeah. even a part, this can be like, we just cut it this entire area and make it like a pattern. Okay. 